What's poppin' bad streamers out there? Welcome back to another not Terraria Tuesday episode. Uh, today, we got a random stream. It's gonna be Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Uh, that's the next SNES game that I'm gonna be doing in my SNES section. Uh, a week or two ago, we wrapped up Super Metroid, which is my all-time favorite. And uh, a little after that, I showed you guys how to beat Legend of Zelda Link to the Past in about five, six minutes. And I also did a straight playthrough. Started and got pretty much everything and finished. I think we missed like one heart piece in the whole game. Uh, that one took us a lot longer than expected. That took about seven hours. Whew. I think I took one, like, couple minute bathroom break, and that was it. And just to fill up a water bottle. But tonight, uh, today is February 7th, 2023, and we're rocking a Ravenclaw shirt in honor of the new Hogwarts game just dropped today. So congrats to everyone who was able to play today. I got a little bit in earlier today uh, during lunchtime. And uh, man is actually uh, running it right now. So she's really enjoying it. It's really awesome. I also got my Ravenclaw hat on. In case you couldn't tell, I'm a Ravenclaw guy. Shout out to my fellow Ravenclaws out there. The uh, the blue ravens, I guess. I don't know. I mean, a raven's a black bird, but whatever. Uh, so that's it. We're going to jump into Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. This is one of uh, my top Super Nintendo games even top regular game of all time it's just absolutely amazing they really it's it's one of the first if not the first super nintendo game or any game to uh <laughs> it's one of the first uh games to actually fully dive into 3d um they, and it does it on a 16-bit super nintendo engine absolutely gem of a game and it's it's one of the first Mario games to dip into the RPG, the, like the JRPG style, uh, with turn-based turn-based fighting, and it opened up, uh, you know, the doorway for future Mario games like Paper Mario, Mario and Luigi Superstar Sagas, all those. So it's it's amazing. Let's see. Uh, hey Obi Wan, welcome in to Not Terraria Tuesday. It is Super Nintendo random stream Super Mario RPG. Obi says, House of Ravenclaw is an eagle, and that I'm a noob. And speaking of eagles, go birds. Yes. I got my bracelet on. Can't really see it, but it's an eagle's bracelet. Go birds. Can't wait. Super Bowl number two, championship ring they're going to get. Chiefs. It's been real, but you're going down. With no more ado whatsoever... Let's jump right into this. Actually, you know what? Back that up. Last week on Thursday's stream of Unsighted, where we uh, were getting ready to wrap up. We got maybe one more stream left uh, on, in two days. Uh, I left you guys with an apparent cliffhanger. I said, uh, I introduced the last joke at 10 and never told the answer. So we're gonna hit you guys with a bad joke Number four of last week is going to be number 1A of this week. We're starting it off. So is when... Oh, and for that last week and this week, we got NFL-themed jokes in honor of the Super Bowl's pending Eagle win. So, when should football players wear armor? When should football players wear armor? Let's see. Obi says, uh, they're going to beat on Brady for one and going to beat on Baby Brady for number two. <laughs> Brady and Baby Brady cover of Madden 22. Yeah, can't wait for it. So when should football players wear armor? Uh, when they play night games. Ho ho ho! I know, amazing, right? Yes, uh, Obi got it right as I was saying it. When they play their night games. Oh, so good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. I figured I'd leave it on this screen because I was digging the music. I, w I was going to have it in the title tr title screen. It's a little dramatic, but I was digging this as interest. But you know what? Let's, uh, let's let you guys appreciate the beginning 
of this classic, classic game. All right. You got Peach just chilling there. Oh no. Got dark. Oh no. <gasps> what could that be? <gasps> he stole her. Help! Peach always getting abducted by Mario. Speaking of which, there he is. All right. Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. 1996. There's a big blizzard that year. All right. Oh no, Ganon. All right, Obi. We're going to give you a very important role here. What are we naming our character? You get the honors. You're the first one in the chat tonight. So go ahead, you can pick any name you want. McFly. All right. All right, we're going to do McFly. Also, uh, I was tired of getting the lag of the input from the, uh, from the wireless controller that I was using. I tested it wired. Uh, it did seem to work a little better, but just to not take any chances, I went ahead and I picked up this Logitech wired controller for gaming. So I'm going to try to use this for at least the Super Nintendo screen. Scre uh, uh, at least the Super Nintendo streams. Uh, possibly going to try it also with Terraria and see... Uh, other games going forward. I like it. So we're gonna give it a shot. I have no lag inputs. I'm mashing this. It's great. All right. McFly starts his journey. And no, we didn't hit reset on the game. This is the actual actual start. It does resemble the intro. All right, so to start this one off, just like every other Mario, Bowser kidnaps the princess. Shocker. All right, so he takes her into his castle. Mario's like, hello. Bowser said, come on in, bro. Come on in, bro. So already, so this is Super Nintendo, already you see, you know, the 3D effects that they got going on. Um, and Mario can walk in, uh, omnidirectional. Uh, real quick, we're gonna switch our button inputs here. We're gonna do... E... A... Oh, he says nine-year-old minds explode. Uh, yeah. Or if you're me, there's like seven, but... And I don't think this early on we get any... Well, you know what? We'll just show you what happens if you run into an enemy. You go into a turn-based battle system right here. Um, you can go A into attack. You choose who you want to attack. You go B if you want to defend or run. Uh, y are your special moves, which use flower power. And X goes into your items. We don't have any items yet. So we're just going to attack. And <clears throat> you got timed attacks and timed defenses. So when you attack, if you hit the attack button, which is A, uh, and you time it right for whatever weapon you have, you can make a stronger attack or you can do a follow-up second, sometimes even a third attack. Uh, and similar when you're defending, when someone attacks you, if you time it right and hit B, you kind of you block and you, you know you take less damage. So we're gonna go ahead and attack and you can see up top we got our health bar or health status you got mario and he's 20 out of 20 health so right there i hit attack attack as he punch punch and he made him uh do that follow-up attack we actually don't need to fight any of these people because they don't give us any experience we just get right to the end so we got four of these good vision mario 
Yeah. Yes, because he's 2020. Oh. -ho. All right. So we're going ahead and fight for these guys. Attack, attack. See, we, we defend right there, and we only took one damage. Next time, I'll show you what happens if we don't defend. No defense. We still take one damage, because it's early in the game. But we normally would take, like, two or three. All right, and we'll show you what happens if we don't push the attack button. Just one hit. It's still good enough. All right, but now I'll show you this. Hit the double combo, bang, bang. <laughs> Obi says they weak AF. Take a half damage, yep. Oh no, the bridge is out. What shall we ever do? All right. Enter throne room. Where's Bowser at? I don't see him anywhere. Hello? <gasps> oh, what? He's got Peach strung up on a piece of rope. Mario jumps like 80 feet in the air to land on a chandelier. Toadstool says, don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. Bowser says, Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. All right. First boss battle. Uh, and they actually, they, you know, they heal you right up to 20 health. So we're going to attack. You can attack Bowser. Doesn't really do anything. Or you can attack the kink link. It's very kinky. Uh, which is actually what we want to do. So we're going to attack that thing. Absorb Bowser's attack. Attack the Kink Link again for 20. He shoots his uh, little thorny back at us. Toadstool says, Mario, the chain! And we're like, I know, bro. What I've been doing. Aim for the chain. Yeah. Bowser's chandelier about to be off the chain. Bam, bam. There we go. Bowser says, what was that sound? N n no! It's a chain reaction! A chain reaction? Really, Bowser? You're better than that. Hang on, Kink Link! Yeah! We got him, right? There's no way anything bad could happen at this point. Coming, Mario! Oh no! What a jerk. That was a really good throw. <laughs> we said beat the game, yeah. Toastal says fight, Mario! Fight! This should finish you. Bowser's got a really good arm. By the way, we just jumped up here and it was like 20, 30 feet. Now we're falling like skyscraper length. Whatever. Mwaha, did you think I was just gonna give her to you? You're always in my way. This is it. I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Funga! Foiled again! Mario jumps. Uh, uh, oh, grabs it. So dramatic, Mario. Oh, yeah, this isn't my bad. It wasn't Toad. It was Toadstool. That is Princess Toadstool. Oh, Mario! You had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Shriek! Mario! I'm gonna fall! Enter. I don't know if you guys can count. Or Toad's Tool, yeah. Uh, there are seven stars right there. Some sword just came out of the heavens. And here's your intro. Super Mario RPG. Oh, conveniently, the seventh one drops right on him. Yo, Mario just got yeeted.
That's where Mario takes uh, Peach to the pipe house. Ho ho ho! Okay, okay, let's try to watch the language. There's children present, yeah? Toad comes in. Hey, Mario! Lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyway, I came to pick up Toadstool since she's a bit late. What's up, Phoenix Fire? Welcome to Super Nintendo, not Terraria Tuesday. Amanda's out enjoying the Hogwarts game, so we're here doing a solo stream with one of the greatest games ever. Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Let's get Mario off this wall. Got my uh, Hogwarts gear on. Got my Ravenclaw tank top and my Ravenclaw hat. All right, let me ask you guys. Obi-Wan, what house are you? Phoenix Fire, what house are you? Obi-Wan says he's Hufflepuff. Phoenix Fire, let me guess. I'm going to guess you're Gryffindor. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario. So where is she? Phoenix Fire says, <laughs> All right, Phoenix. What are you? The world is dying to know. And the world is just, like, mainly me and Obi-Wan right now, but we're dying to know. Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? Mario's like, damn man, why I gotta do all the work? Fine. Jump on these save blocks. Oh yeah. Phoenix Fire. Okay, so Phoenix Fire. Phoenix Fire says she's Slytherin for sure. Nice. Uh, Amanda is also Slytherin. Y'all, y'all snakes be hiding up in the grass together. <laughs> Obi Wan says the puff is is greater than the snake. It's cool that y'all want to compete for second place. Everybody knows Ravenclaw outsmarts everybody. We, we get you with our, our wit. Alright, so this is the world map. We were at Mario's pad. Now we're headed back to Bowser's Keep. Phoenix Fire says, I eat ravens. Relax there, uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Ugh. Do birds? Yeah, I guess birds eat, eat. Or snakes eat birds. Better watch out, uh, uh, a fifth house of the mongoose doesn't come out after you. Halt! Who goes there? A trespasser. This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. It's our first step towards taking over this world. And if weren't, and if it weren't for you nosy characters, we'd practically own this world. Obi-Wan says, an eagle. Ravenclaw is an eagle. And Ragels eat snakes. How are they going to call themselves Ravenclaw and have an eagle? Huh? It makes no sense. Let's see you deal with this. See, I'm going to say, if you look at the beak on this thing, it's a raven. It ain't no eagle. I would love for it to be an eagle, because uh, eagles are the greatest team in NFL history. Oh, well. Preach. Yeah. All right, we're going into uh, Peach's Fantasy Lab. AKA the pipe house. Oh, -ho! what's up, Toad? You back so soon? Oh, wait. All right, we gotta we gotta get our, our voices down consistent. I can't do like Toad's actual voice. It's it's so raspy and high, uh, high pitched. It's like, Rah! nah, I can't even do it. Can't even do it. All right, so we gotta give a. Uh, 
You know what? I'm feeling like for Toad, it's gonna be our Stitch voice. We're back so soon? Did you forget something? No? What happened then? Yeah, my Mario voice is on point though. As he says, nothing in this game. Bridge to Bowser's Keep is out now? Just wonderful. We must have from the Chancellor of Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. Alright, let's go. Oops, excuse me. Oh, that bump on your head will destroy its P level. <laughs> Big Spire says I sound like Jar Jar Banks. Look, okay, Jar Jar Banks and Stitch are the long lost twin brothers. It is what it is. This is my uh, Jar Jar Stitch voice. <laughs> One of Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to poke you right up. Received a mushroom. Do you know how to use items? Obviously, bro. I've been played this game. Oh, I see. You just so well traveled and experienced, Mario. Uh, now why did I rush back? I had uh, something to tell you. Back! I remember. I came to warn you about the mushroom way. It's swarming with monsters. I just barely made it back here in one piece. Mario, please do something. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about timed hits? Yeah, of course I know about timed hits. I just gave the explanation on how to attack and defend. <laughs> <laughs> Obi says, Musa from the Phoenix Fire is knowing what's up. Watcha betcha. Hey, you better watch out! He knows about time hits! He's gonna punch your lights out! He's got more bark than bite, huh? Uh, now why did I rush back? I had something to tell you! That's right! We need to tell the Chancellor about Toadstool! I'll see you over at the Mushroom Kingdom! Just in case, take this with you! Receive three mushrooms. Let's go. Alright, so we go to Mushroom Way. <clears throat> Alright, now when we actually fight enemies, we get experience points for them. Let's take these guys down. Alright. Bam. So sometimes the Goombas do two, sometimes they do none. It's kind of random. We're pretty consistently doing 34 right now. So we get three experience, so it's like one experience point per Goomba. No coins on that one. Pretty sweet uh, battle music in here too. You don't have to fight everybody. Alright, so let's fight uh, this Sky Trooper. Eight damage. One experience and one coin. All right, we got a rescue toad over here. So sometimes when you kill an enemy, a little flower will pop out and it gives you like HP max, uh, MP max, lucky. So that one, we killed an enemy, HP max, and uh, got our health filled back up. Phew! My life was flashing before my eyes for a second there. 
That's a level something. Here's a level something in return. We got some honey syrup. That is an item that you can use in battle or outside of battle, and that'll replenish your flower points, which is what you use to use your special attack. So we're going to fight this Goomba. He was on top of this spinning flower. Oh, see, we didn't block that one, and the Goomba did three damage to us. Oh. Trying to go left. Oh. Now we got to fight this dude. Got to go again. All right. We got a... So when you get a flower in the wild like that, um, it replenishes... Or it gave us one more max flower point. So if you look at the bottom right where it says flowers, we have 10 and 11 is our max. HP max. Very nice. Gotta rescue Toad again. little block there. So Obi-Wan or Phoenix Fire, do either of you have plans to pick up the Hogwarts game? And if so, uh, what system are you getting it for? Boy, that was a close call. There's a token in my appreciation. Got a flower tab. All right. Which is the same thing as uh, that flower that we got in the box. But this one is an actual item that we can use. So we go to our items, go to flower tab, and we use it, and it increases our max flower points by one. And when you use that, it actually increases, or it refills your flower still. <clears throat> All right, we're done with this area. These are spinies. They're doing significantly more damage than the other guys. Woo! Glad that guy missed. Phoenix Fire said probably not. We're getting the uh, Hogwarts. We're gonna go ahead and use a mushroom here. It will replenish uh, 20 HP or 30? 30, 30 HP. Reaches level two. So when you level up in this game, you know, you reach a certain amount of experience points. You get, you know, all your stats go up a little bit. So our max HP went up five, attack went up three. We actually have some defense now. And the bottom stands for magic attack and magic defense. And then you get a choice. You can increase their attack, their HP, or their special. Um, for Mario, we're gonna go ahead and increase his special attack. I think I usually pick one and run with it the entire game for a character. So I'm gonna do it. Let's see, his magic attack can go up three, his health can go up three, or his attack can go up one. Yeah, we'll do uh, special. In order of what I like to get is usually special, then attack, then... Um, Special attack and HP. All right, so now we're gonna fight these uh, 
these uh, hammer bros. Hey, you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. Mario, you better be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. Phoenix Fire says, Baby Boy is taking up a lot of my time lately. Yeah, I bet. It's uh, two, two and a half months out. Getting close. Getting close. I saw you, uh, you entered the, the third trimester. In the home stretch now. Man, that's exciting. I'm really happy for you guys. Uh, so now we're gonna teach you guys how to use special attacks. So you go into Y under special um, And whatever category you go under to further select in that category you push that button again So like if I want to push a to go to attack I would have to push a again to execute that action B for defense. I would have to push B again X X use items and Y do I use special? Phoenix Fire says, uh, pretty sure it'll be around your birthday. Oh, that'd be an amazing birthday present. Happy birthday. Use a mom. All right. We're going to go ahead and jump on these fools. Hammer bro. And that, uh... That sound, that uh, special sound you heard when I landed, that was because when I landed, I timed it with the Y button. All right, there's one down. He showers us with coins. Valor up. I think blue is defense up. Or maybe, yeah, I think regular defense. Nah, that should be it. I lied. That wasn't it. Let's not take any chances. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. Get a freebie. Oh, that's awesome. When it says get a freebie, the item that you just used, get another one. So you, you didn't have to use it. Alright, bang. So we got a flower jar from beating them. Six experience points and 20 coins. Flower jar will increase our flower points by three instead of the flower tab, which does one. Let's see, Toad goes, Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. Mushroom Kingdom's just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Hey, where did this hammer come from? Hmm. Oh, do you know what this is? It has the Hammer Bros in Sydney on it. No one stands a chance against you when you want them with this. Oh. You never know. It might come in handy. Pick up a hammer. Let's get a move on. I'll see you in Mushroom Kingdom. All right. So the hammer is actually... Uh, <clears throat> a weapon and weapons in this game can only be equipped by certain characters so we go down to our menu we go to equip and we put the hammer in our weapon slot each character can have one weapon one piece of armor and one accessory we got nothing here but we got the hammer and it pounds enemies all right so we're gonna head to mushroom kingdom Just jump on this girl's head and just go zoom, 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 zoom. And you fall over. There are hidden blocks in this game. 
<laughs> Here's an item shop. Mario, what a pleasant surprise. One of Frogbucius's grandchildren is running errands in town today. I haven't seen him, though. Oh, you're here to shop? What are you looking for? All right, so... So these are some items. Mushroom replenishes health. Honey with syrup re recovers flower points. Pick me up. Uh, revives a downed ally. Able juice is heal status problems during battle. And you got shirt, pants, jump shoes, and the pin. So the shirt is, and the pants are armor. Uh, and then the, these are an accessory. Use jump attacks against any foe. Prevents poison damage. I'll go ahead and grab that and you can sell items we don't want to sell anything just yet all right so we're gonna go ahead and equip the shirt and the jump shoes that we got so you'll see all right so the shirt will increase our defense up to eight so it goes from 2 to 8, and our magic defense goes from 5 to 11. And this increases our defense by 1, our magic attack by 5, and our magic defense by 1. Pretty solid. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Get off there this minute. I was checking to see. Yep. This is weird. There are things called hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. Alright, so this person tells you about hidden treasures. And then you sit here on their head and you wait until they move in the perfect location. Ugh. Oof. They gotta go in the bottom right. Near the or not bottom right. Well on the right side. You gotta get near they pretty much gotta get like right here. In this area here. And I can hit this block that's hidden right there. So while we're waiting, 8.30 passed, and it was bad joke time. So, what kind of footwear do NFL centers wear? Got it. Had to do it twice. <clears throat> wants to find it, wants to hit it. All right, so what kind of footwear do NFL centers wear? at the end you can save get your health back check up here this dude's just snapping away not like I'm always sleeping oh when you jump on beds I'm not jumping it just bounces Phoenix Fire gives up, so what kind of footwear do NFL centers wear? Uh, they wear hiking boots. Because <laughs> they hike the ball. <laughs> oh, damn, that dude just told me to shut up. Don't talk to me. Why, what's he doing? Oh, now look, I lost because of you. I think he's mad. Mm -mm 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 
Mario, there you are. I'll tell the Chancellor you're here. You must be Chancellor Palpatine. I'll wait for you down the hallway. Over Princess Toadstool's room. All right, let's go right ahead and uh, just go check out the Chancellor. So, Mario has arrived. What's up, Chancellor, dude? Phoenix Fire says, well, bro, thanks for the last, but I'm going to try to get some sleep. All right, take it easy, Phoenix Fire. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Show's over, folks. Go home. Mario, thank goodness you're here. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud I almost dropped my spores. Uh, uh, what is this spores? I don't know. Um, excuse me, w where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. I fear the worst. Could Bowser somehow be behind all of this? All right, okay, he's, this is how Mario tells the story. There's Bowser and, Mar and Peach. Bowser and Peach. Spores alive. You're telling us that Bowser has abducted the princess again? Never mind. It will be up to you to either to enter the keep and rescue Princess Toadstool. He goes, nah. I fought him. He fell. I saved her. Almost, almost had her. And then... He's like, what? What happened? Oh, no. He had to jump up back off the bridge. Nope. Couldn't do it. God. Egad, a god, all right. The keep is unassailable. What awful power is at work here? Mario, her life is in your hands. Please, save our dear princess. Mario. I almost forgot. This may not help you, but why don't you take it along? I got a map. Mario! Oh, no, no, no! Oh! Ooh, hit him right in the head on the door. Oof. Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cellar and prepare your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. Thanks, bro. Head over to the treasure, John. Chancellor's filled me in. Come, let me show you around. Help yourself to the treasures. This is a flower. The more you gather, the more flower points you'll have in battle. Find them. This mushroom will restore your hit points and flower points. Unfortunately, mushrooms you find as items only restore your HP. So beware. This is a coin. Small ones are worth one, and the large ones are worth ten. This one's a ten. Yep, I know about flower points. back here all right so we need a voice for this guy this is mallow he's a little little puff come back here and that's uh i forget what his name is he's like a little raptor or something oh no that reptile stole my grandpa's corn. Boo-hoo, sniffle. I can't cry. Big boys don't cry. But it's not fair. What am I gonna do? Wah. You just start raining? Boy, you need to stop crying. Y yes gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? I'm all right now. Sorry. 
There's nothing like a good cry. But why was I crying? There was some reason. My grandpa asked me to buy some things for him here. When I walked into town, that croc stopped me. Oh, it was a croc, that's right. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, let's see how you're gonna take- Oh, that's this other check. Mario, let's see how you're gonna take care of Bowser. What? Wow, it doesn't stand a chance. Wow, you're the Mario? I know all about you. You've got more jump in you than a box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Tadpole Pond. I'm a frog. Are you? Are you really? I've never seen a frog look like that. But can you believe it? I can't jump. Huh. Embarrassing, huh? How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? Yeah, sure. I got you, bro. The young frog Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. Alright, how much money we got? We only got 13 coins. Mario, I have something to report, sir. I saw him. He's somewhere. He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? Did he look something like this? Why, yes, exactly. He's the one who took my coin. Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh, give me a break here. Come back here. Har har. Use mugs. He'll never catch me. A snail could outrun you, morons. Later. Later, gators. That's him! Hurry, Mario, let's get him! Alright, let's go get him. Alright, there he is. He's probably stashed in that bag. Let's nab him. Are you trying to tell me? Go home to mommy before you get hurt, kid. And now we can use the hammer instead of just our fist cups. What's up, Sour Fun? We're chilling here playing some Super Mario RPG. Amazing game. Repping our Ravenclaw gear in honor of the new Harry Potter game that just dropped today. Hope we see you soon, too, man. Nerds only? Uh, for show. I am one. In some hurting on these uh, spiky johns. So there's three of them. I split them up. Uh, I let Mario attack two separate ones and then Mallow focus on one. Because Mario can take one out by himself. And Mallow can take one out with two hits. Check our status of our peeps. All right, so Mario still needs uh, 21 experience, and Mallow needs 13. We'll at least level up um, before we fight the dude. Take out this guy. 
And then we'll have Milo finish up the Frogog. And he's... Oh, look at that. HP filled back up. Alright. Joe's dudes done though. Get some three experience points. Get eight coins. Not too, too bad. You couldn't jump to save your life, kid. So I guess this is goodbye. Oh, yeah. And here is where we're going to gain some levels. If we do it right. I guess it wasn't the spot I'm thinking of. Heroka Cola. Oh, I guess we never used the flower jar. Alright, so flower jar increased it by three. Now we're up to 18 flower points. Heroka Cola, uh, all members fully recovered. So it's a really good item. Really good item. He says, oh, you're a pestering bugger, but I'm 100 miles ahead of you. Two, Mallow. And Mario finishes him up with the hammer. Mario brings the hammer. Lay the hammer down. Here's where we gain some levels. He says, Give it up already. That treasure box is tempting, but now is not the time. this and we just constantly fight whoever shows up got a level up there every time we beat one of them it's it simulates a battle so we got the experience for it so mallow reaches level three he learns hp rain mallow is really really strong with special attack i think i'm just gonna basically stick with special attack for everybody Go ahead and get this other one. All right. Mario should be, yeah, Mario's there in uh, four more experience. We'll go ahead and grab some right here. die. Mallow's got these scrawny arms. One more experience needed for Mario. We'll grab it over here. Dead end and they won't give up. I'll just have to hide. He's gone into hiding. Let's see if we can sneak up behind him and catch him. All right, we'll go ahead and gain a level right here for Mario. Nice. Frog Hog is dead. Maybe we take out Spiky? No. Here he's out right here. Bang, got him. We got some honey syrup. 
Mario gets to level three. Learns Fire Orb. We're gonna go ahead and just keep hitting that special. I'm gonna refill our stuff right there. Ooh, didn't want to hit him. That's fine. So we leave that battle pretty much unscathed, only down one HP each. There he is. What's this? You fools couldn't chase down a pumpkin. Gotcha. Ha! Your eyes are much faster than your feet. At this rate, it'll take you a hundred more years to catch me. Your eyes are much faster than your feet. At this rate, it'll take you 50 more years to catch me. You again? This is getting old. It'll still take you... Enough. You got me fair and square. Oh, that was Croco. <clears throat> Enough. You got me fair and square. I'll give you back your coin. <laughs> Whoa, did you really believe me? I was lying. Oi. All right, let's take down this... Braca. Shit. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna use the fire orb that Mario's new attack. So this one he kind of like lights up into a spade symbol and then just launches fire orbs. And we just keep uh hitting the Y button. 104. Whoa! Croco says yowch! Alright, he's got Thunderbolt. We hit, we time the Y button. He uh, does a second hit right there. So he's dousing a tail fire. Let's go ahead and hit this again with some more. 95. Woo! Eighteen. Weird mushroom. Oh, he regained 60 health. What a jerk. One oh one. All right, so now we are out of flowers. Uh, because it shows you, it's a, e, e, either one of these takes two flower points to use. We have zero out of eight out of 19. So since Mallow's uh, special attack doesn't do too much to this guy anyway. Got a bad joke. We're gonna go ahead and use some honey syrup. Which is gonna give us our flower back. Ten of them. And we got a freebie. Oh, look at that. Alright, so real quick. That was our alarm for our next bad joke. Let's see. What do football players wear for Halloween? What do football players wear for Halloween? We're gonna go ahead and do a fire orb right here again. This actually might take him down. Ninety-two. Yep. There we go. Give me back my coin, or I'll belt you again. Ooh. Ouch. I'm gonna pay back in spades, kid. Go on. Take back your grubby old coin. Adios, amigos. All right. We got it back. Yeah, we did it. We got Grandpa's coin back. I can finish my errand now. Hey, look at this. That Krako guy left the wallet. Oh, we got a wallet. I'm going back. I'm going back to the shop at Mushroom Kingdom. You coming? And instead of having to walk all the way back, they give you this nice, convenient boing. 
Hit that save. We're gonna use the flower tad that we got. Now we're up to 20 flower points. Oh, look at that. Even Mallow took one out in one hit. We're gonna walk out of this battle. No harm done. Bang. Done. I'll take our tree points. Oh, two. As you level up, uh, enemies give they re the number of experience points that each enemy gives is reduced so to get more points you gotta face stronger enemies all right so we'll go ahead and buy the pants for mallow and we'll give him an antidote pin And we don't have any pick-me-ups. We'll go ahead and grab two of those for now. We don't have any evil juice. Grab two of those. And we'll go ahead and equip. Uh, we'll give Mallow some pants to wear. And give him the accessory pin. That'll help a little bit. So right now, the, the town is just overrun. It's dark, you got this ominous music. We're gonna save these, uh, these townsfolk. We're gonna fight these, uh, shy guys. They're called shysters. Get it? Bunch of shysters. Use drain. Again. Yeah, Mallow's not doing much damage. He's literally unarmed. No weapons on him. Give him punch him with these scrawny arms, doing like one damage. I think his special attack, his thunderbolt, does decent damage to these guys though. Yeah, says thanks Mario. I'll continue to stand watch, but now everyone seems suspicious. By the way, look what I found. Oh, we got 10 coins. Come on, bro. Come at me, bro. Alright, we'll give these guys a little thunderbolt here. Yep. That's pretty good damage. I was too darn close. Thanks for the hand, Mario. Hey, that's my wallet. With crocodile swipe for me. Can I have it back? There you go, bud. Thank you so much here. I'll give you this as a reward. Go on now, take it. And we got a flower tab. All right. Now we're up to 21 flower points. We're just gonna go around and save the townsfolk from these guys. somebody with a dream. That dude Dunzo. That guy Dunzo. No damage taken there. Alright, one more house fill the citizens saved these two are about to get married oh it's just straight missed oh but he missed okay I guess that evens it out But 
but the one on the right, because he already attacked previously, so maybe this guy won't attack. Oh well. Mario took him out. And Mallow leveled up to four. Let's see, is he strong enough to take him out now? Doing 32, oh yeah. Thanks, Mario. But what about my son upstairs? Oops, I forgot all about him. That's cool, he's just, he's just your son. He's just chilling, bouncing with the dude. What up, Ivysaur EG? Welcome to Bad Streaming. Caught us on, uh, normally this is our Terraria Tuesday, but, uh, I like this battle arena in a house. It's pretty sweet. We get, we're playing Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, the first, um, like, JRPG-like Mario that started a whole genre of Mario games. We got our boy Mario and this little, uh, frog is, uh, Mallow. Oh, Ivysaur says, I love this game. Oh, you're a big fan of it, so am I. It's such a good one. Uh, we're pretty early on. Uh, we're just in Mushroom Kingdom. Or, uh, yeah, we're, we're in Mushroom Kingdom right now. Our second trip, we just beat, uh, Croco. Flower up. So we're just going around and saving the townsfolk from these little, uh, shysters. And we got Mallow's special ability up to the point where he can take out a whole fleet with one cast of Thunderbolt. Like this. Bang. Beautiful. So, Ivysaur, you say you love this game, uh... Do you have a do you have a top Super Nintendo game that's your favorite one? I would say mine is Super Metroid. And number two, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. And this is number three. Ice Ivysaur says it's either this or Mega Man X. An, an, an amazing game. I'm probably actually going to be streaming Mega Man X in the coming weeks. Uh, I was thinking about if I wanted to try to attempt a speed run. I'm not even close to that the level of that speedrun community, but it's it's amazing. I love watching those runs. Right. Give ourselves a quick uh, savey save here. What's our status? Uh, we're fine. We don't need to heal or anything. All right, let's go ahead and head on in. And as soon as I come in, I'm gonna go straight to the vault and steal the items that are down here. Now we'll save this guy. So we'll save a couple of these people, uh, and then we'll go heal, and then we'll we'll take out Big Mac. He's the leader of these guys. Yeah, like as as Ivysaur mentioned, uh, whatever whatever uh, area you're in, whether it's a house, whether it's a forest, or whether it's a piece of the castle right here uses that as your backdrop for uh, the battle. It's pretty sweet. All right. The vault. Guard. I come to save him. He runs in the next room. Well, so much for him. I guess we'll save him too. Ivysaur says, Mac the Knife is a famous 1958 cover of a 1929 song 
perfect reference for a kid in the 90s. <laughs> nice. Oh, he gave me a wake-up pin. Uh, I don't think I really need to equip the wake-up pin. I mean, it increases his stat. All right, only because it increases... Wait. All right, because it increases his stats, sure. I'll, I'll keep it. Doesn't really matter. We're not getting put to sleep or poisoned in this area. Take him out, Mallow. So Ivysaur, uh, just a heads up, we do uh, we do Terraria Tuesdays normally here on Bad Streaming. Uh, we do that at eight, from about eight to 10, 10, 30. And then on Thursdays right now, we're streaming a game called Unsighted. Uh, it's really cool. It's like a futuristic, uh, dystopian, like, robotic area um but it's you know it's got like it's like metroidvania we're uh we're doing a co-op of it it's fun we uh we did six streams of it so far and i think possibly this thursday we're going to be finishing that game up because we're on our last area we should be able to wrap it up Obi says, R.I.P. Alma. Alma was Obi's favorite character in Unsighted. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was Olga, actually. Alma is the fairy. Oh, no, no. Alma is the main character. So, actually, Obi, you could be right. R.I.P. Alma, because we've died many times in that game. Obi likes Olga because Amanda gave Olga a nice southern accent, and Obi couldn't handle it. It was amazing. Yeah, those are the, the two main games that we're streaming right now, and then I do occasional random Super Nintendo streams when I solo it. I did... Um, we did three episodes where I ran through Super Metroid, and we got 100% on that. Um, and then after that, we did uh, one stream where I taught the viewers how to do like a five or six minute, uh, how to beat Zelda Link to the Past in about five or six minutes. And then we ran through start to finish. It took us about seven hours straight for that one. Um, and now I'm doing Super Mario RPG. So Obi asks, so is Sonic dead? No, Sonic is not dead. Uh, that's when Amanda and I get a chance to jump on streams together, but it's a random stream, and we we're doing our Sonic Frontiers. Uh, we started that one on launch. It was like November 8th, 18th, something like that, sometime in November. Um, so I'm not sure when the next Sonic is going to be, but it is not dead. We're definitely going to beat that game. That's just... When we do our randoms, if we're together, we'll do Sonic. If it's just me, I'll do a Super Nintendo game. And if it's just Amanda, she does Sims 4. All right, so this is the actual Toad. Uh, Ivy, so we've been doing a, a Jar Jar Binks voice for Toad here. So we'll, uh, we'll jump back into that if Toad says anything else. Oh no, the Chancellor's still in the throne room. All right. Rob? That's terrible. But with Mario around, we're safe, right? Oh, you bet. Oh, he says chili dogs? Are you eating chili dogs? If so, chair. Sharing is caring, sir. Alright, what's uh what's Toe gonna give me? Please, take this! The princess will be happy to know you have something of hers! We got a flower tab. <laughs> Ivy Sir says, Lisa be thinking you should give, you should give the big knife to Mario Boom Boom. Nice. Ivy Sir is getting into it. All right, so we just got another flower tab from the princess. Pretty good on health. I don't think we even need to uh 
I don't think we need to heal or anything. We're good. We'll do just fine. Just about time to go give a... Uh, big knife, the Mario Boom Boom. Let's check our status. Ah, we're fine. Sneak right by that guy. Fight one of these guys. Hit me with for one. I hit them for one. Hit KO. Oh. -ho. There's their peace sign when they only have four fingers. Yeah. All right. Where do you think everyone went? Well, gang, looks like we have ourselves a new home. We can bounce around all day long, and there's no one here who can stand in our way. Yahoo! Let's bounce the night away. Bounce, 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 bounce. One of them is out of sync, and the other five are perfectly in sync. I have sort of said the, the peace emoji. Nice. Not so fast, pal. Look at him. He can't even bounce. Hey, maybe we could bounce on his head. Can't bounce? Bro, you know who I am? I'm Mario. I bounce the best in the galaxy. All right, Obi Wan. In in uh, shout out to our, our newer chatter here has a question that says, "Who's the best of the starters? Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur?" Looks like Ivysaur is a fan of. That's saying he's a fan of Blastoise and Charizard. So either one. Uh, let's see, starters. I took I took Squirtle pretty much every time. Yeah, <laughs> everyone but Bulba. <laughs> Bulbasaur was like, dude, he was he was OP'd for the first two gyms. If he took if he took Charmander, you better get like a a Nidoran or something, because Misty gonna mess your day up. Max says, listen up, gang. These guys are going to put a stop to our party. Are we happy about this? You're asking for it. Oh, he says, really three. Let's see, the third gym is electric. All right, all right. So he could do some ground attacks there. Not bad. Oh, you're going to get it. You picked the wrong people not to bounce with, bub. How about a fat lip to go with that ugly mustache? You coming at my mustache, man? Oh, that's it. Oh, he's, oh, he's resistant to electrics. Okay, yeah. All right. So, pretty simple strategy with this one. Mario just launches orbs at Mac. Hits it for 44. This boss music, so good. You know what we're fighting right now? All right, Mal, go ahead and just wipe out the riffraff. Boom. Max stunned. and horns and he's got the fish in the horn I love it and mallow is gonna use some honey syrup got a flame he's just attacking one of us Hits him for nine. Hits 
We're gonna throw 19 more fireballs at him. Hits us with a flame wall. We good. We all good. Oh, I just straight up missed Mallow. For a second there, I was considering uh, if I didn't want to use Mario's Fire Orb. But that's fine, because uh, if he brings people back, it's going to be in a second. So we'll use Honey Syrup for Mallow, and then we'll have enough if he brings his buddies back right there. Yep. And we're going to go ahead and take these dudes out. Thanks for coming. It's been real. Oh, what jerks. We'll just hit Mac regular so we save some flower points for Mallow. Dunzo. Adios. Good night. Told that boss. Alright, Mallow gets to level 5, and I'm sticking with, I'm just boosting their special attack. Because Mallow, especially endgame, his special attacks, uh, probably the best out of the group. Let's see. So we get our first star out of 7. Alright. Very nice, very nice. There's our star pieces. We got one. Woo! This is not good. This is not good. The mustachioed one is strong. Strong, yes. We must warn the boss. Come on. They bounced out of here real quick. They said, yo, let's bounce. Don't worry, Chancellor. You can stop convulsing. I, I'm hoping he's shaking out of fear in the corner. And he's not, you know, doing some nasty business in the corner. Gracious. Oh, it's you, Mario. What a relief. Once again, Mario to the rescue. But who were those? Chancellor! Sir, thank goodness you're all right! Mario, so it was you who got us through all this. We owe you so much! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ivysaur, you are so right. Uh, basically, every song in this entire game just... It hits. First the princess, and now this? It's just too much to bear. Mario. How about we ask my grandpa for help? He knows everything. Excuse me, but who are you? Oh, hello. My name is Mallow. I'm from Tadpole Pond. Ivysaur says, The soundtrack was composed by Yoko Shumamura. He also, she also did the Kingdom Hearts soundtrack and Guile's theme from Street Fighter. I mean, that explains a lot right there. Well, any friend of Mario's is welcome here in Mushroom Kingdom. As I was saying, Mario, you are our only hope. Mario, please, you must rescue the princess now! Mario, I'm in your debt too. Let's head to Grandpa's place in Tadpole Pond. He can help. Wait, why did they even come to Mushroom Kingdom in the first place? Guess we'll find out soon enough. Could Mac 
the sword-like monster who crashed into Mushroom Kingdom have anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z! Our heroes move on towards the Kiro Sewers. Kiro, Kiro? I have no, no idea. Some kind of sewer. And I think... Yeah. I was like, I'm standing guard. He's like, you didn't take anything, right? Nah. <laughs> Sasquatch said, I heard there was Jar Jar Binks voices. Uh, yes. That is true story. Uh, we were doing Toad's voice. We were giving him Jar Jar Binks. Probably won't see Toad for a while. But you can have another character take over for Jar Jar. If you want, I could voice everything that Mario says for the rest of the game as Jar Jar. Spoiler. He don't say nothing. Hey, Mallow, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Hey, mister. I got my coin back. Oh, well done, lad. Okay, here's the thing I promised you. There, make sure it doesn't get stolen, eaten, or whatever. Your grandpa needs it, okay? We got a cricket pie. That sounds disgusting. You bet. Mario, thank you so much. Grandpa will be delighted. Love this job. What you looking for? Uh, you don't have anything I want. Goodbye. All right, we out. Dun, 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 dun. To the sewers. This is the entrance. Grandpa says to watch out for Belom, whoever that is. It's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. Ivysaur says the second area of this game is a sewer just like World 1 2 and Original Mario for NES. I never realized that. But yeah, you're 100% right. Nice. All right, so we can swim on the surface of the water. That's pretty much it for now. Let's see, read directions on how to enter. Nope. That's just asking if you want to know how to enter the pipe. All you do is stand in the center, push down. And he... All right. Let's see. Fight some of these guys. They ain't too bad. We'll take on uh, Hobgo Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. Oh no! Whew. All right, we got another bad joke. Ivysaur here on Bad Streaming. We do half-hour bad jokes, and in honor of the Eagles going to the Super Bowl. Past two, last week and this week, we're doing NFL themed bad jokes. Here we go. Uh, did you hear that the Buccaneers are planning to move to a new state? They're gonna go to Arkansas. Stupid. Because they're pirates. I get it. I get it. Boom. Good job, Mallow. But we are. We were poisoned. So we got some pure water. Mario gains a level. We got that super attack that we're doing. Uh, let's see. Do we have... Alright, we do have some pickup juice if we need it. <laughs> Sasquatch says, I wish they went to a new country. Djibouti. Well, they're about to be Djibouti because... Uh, Brady gone. Oh, I forgot about this dude. The 
gonna be a pain. Yeah. We might, and we can't run. Zero. We might get beasted here. Special attacks don't do anything to him. Just gotta do regular attacks. Gets us with another flame wall. Uh, we're gonna save our mushrooms. We're gonna hit Mario with some HP rain. Scream. So when he's shaking like that, he has a. Uh, it lowers his stats. He's gonna do like garbage damage, yeah. I mean, he already does garbage damage, but now he does even more garbage ear damage. This dude's almost dead, though. No! We're both screaming. Uh, I don't want to waste an able juice. You know what? We'll use an able juice on Mario. Will remove his uh, scaredness. There you go. Bang. Look, see, Mario had mimics way before Dark Souls. It did. And we got a true form pin. True form pin uh, makes it so you can resist changing your shape if enemies attack you. Um, let's see. We want, yeah, we're gonna keep him to have the wake up pin for Mallow. Actually, we're gonna put the antidote pin in here just for the sewer. When we get to Belome, we'll switch to the true form pin or to the wake up pin. Sorry. Our status, and uh, not that close. We'll. Yeah. Give Mallow a mushroom for now. to jump him. Alright. Can we get out of here without taking any damage? Nice. Got all three of them. Dude, is it? I think it is. That should be. That right there should be a hidden block. Ah, oh, we got money. Alright, 
so we're gonna head back up to where we just were we just dropped down to get that treasure chest this pipe here I think that's the exit we want to take but this is the only way we get to this here. The water has been drained. And we shoot out the front and back in the beginning. Hit that save. How we doing? Ah, we're fine. There's another spot we wanted to check out before we uh, head out to the end. You know what? We actually do want to level up. We're going to level up one more time before we uh, fight the loam. So on our way to getting what we want, we'll uh, gain a little ex experience. So I'm purple right now, and when you're purple, you're poisoned. Uh, you know, it drains life every time you have a turn. That's our status. We're 41 and 33 away. So we'll fight just like everything on our way there. He missed us. And he hit us. Now you notice... He tried to poison Mallow, but Mallow has the antidote pin, which we specifically switched to, so he can't get poisoned right now. Take those. Out. There flowered. There was. Nice. We're up to twenty-eight flower points now that we can hold. So our, the reason why I attacked that dude in the back is Mallow's Thunderbolt attack can, can wipe out the mice on their own, but it won't be enough to take out the creature in the back but in combination with Mario's hammer, it usually is. That was actually the first time out of a couple that it didn't work, but sorry. So, uh, Ivysaur, are you, uh, are you gonna be playing the new Hogwarts game that just dropped? And if you are, what is your house? for Harry Potter. If you couldn't tell, it says it right here, and I'm wrapping the shirt. Ravenclaw for me. And Sasquatch, if you're still out there, what's your, what's your uh, Harry Potter house? So 
Sasquatch is also Ravenclaw. Oh, yeah. And his Patronus is a crow. Alright. Forget, uh, I just did the, like, the Pottermore account thing, or it used to be called Pottermore, or whatever. Uh, I set it up today so I can link it to my, uh, Harry Potter game. I forget what it said my Patronus was. Nice. Mallow has dodged poison, like, four times. Since we put on that antidote ring. Alright, where are we at? We got 20 left and 12 left. We're gonna go ahead and use... We will not use a mushroom on him yet. Oh, they just took us right there. Alright, well, we could fight these guys. It's funny how they weren't in any water right there. And they were flopping around. Right here, they're not in any water. They're doing just fine. We're going to heal Mario with some HP rain. didn't use a mushroom because we only have two to conserve them. Oh, look, we just got another one. Um, but I, I knew that Mallow has HP rain, so I saved Mario's health regen for during battle just to save that item in case you need it for this boss fight upcoming. In case for this uh, boss fight. I think this is going to give enough for Mallow to... Yep, exactly enough for Mallow to level up right here. I thought we only needed eight, and we thought we had five and three. All right. All right, so Mallow needs four, which means... Nice. I love when you get the once again. So randomly after you defeat an enemy, sometimes they drop those flowers. It could be HP max, uh, I think MP max. It could be lucky, it could be attack up, defense up. And you get once again, you just, you get to go again. It's awesome. All right, so Mallow needs one more experience. And he'll get that right here. And then after this, uh, Mario is going to need six experience. So we'll go through the tunnel on the left before we go through the tunnel uh, at the bottom, which is going to lead us out. So we'll have Mario gain one level in probably two battles after this. And he learns Psychopath. Um, Psychopath tells you the enemy's health. There he is. Just a reminder to everybody who's out there, <clears throat> still checking us out right now. Um, don't forget to follow us on Facebook uh, at Bad Streaming. Uh, we'll let you know, we'll make announcements for any time we're about to go live, or let you know what games we got coming up. Um, and it's especially good for when we're going to do our random streams that we don't have planned, uh, like this one. Um, and then 
If you follow us on Twitch, you can check out our schedule there, uh, which is, as of right now, the only official schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. We got normally Terraria Tuesdays at 8 and uh, Unsighted on Thursdays, which this Thursday is probably the final Thursday for Unsighted. So that means as of next week, next week, we'll probably be looking for a new game to play. Uh, we have a couple lined up, but if anybody has any suggestions, feel free to uh, throw a comment on one of our Facebook streams or Facebook post, or throw it in the chat here. Uh, Mario learns super jump, very nice. The games we like to play, uh, me and Amanda, is you know just simple couch co-op games. Um, so we did a game called, uh, Nine Parchments. That was pretty, pretty cool. It was like a top-down, had a mini Diablo feel to it. It was pretty unique. Um, and then we did, so then we were doing Unsighted. We, we posted a, a poll on our Facebook page, asked our fans, you know, what they wanted to see us play. We gave them a choice of four, and that was in there. So we might we might actually go back to one of the other selections for the next stream. We'll let you guys know. And then if anybody's interested, um... Old man, yeah, I'm cool. I'm watching you. <laughs> What's up, old man? Appreciate the, uh, appreciate the watch. Um, yeah, check out our, our YouTube page. We have all of our videos that, all of our streams, we record them. And then, uh, and we upload them to YouTube, usually within 24 to 48 hours-ish, if we're on time. Uh, and then we... We post on Facebook and share out the videos so you guys can check them out in case you missed anything or in case you really had a good time and want to come check us out again and replay. Go ahead and hit that, uh, hit that YouTube follow button. This is Belome. He's like a four-eyed dog thing. He says, Mo, ho, ho, ack. It's a snack attack. And you're it. Epic boss music. So this is our first run-in with Bilome. We're going to use our brand new super jump attack, and previously we had the jump where we timed it and we landed on him, and it increased the attack that we did. The super jump, just more jumps. That might be the most jumps I've ever done on a super jump. That was 24. Wow. Belong says, Ooh, room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? <laughs> you missed. Nineteen right there. Belom says, if you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood. That's the quickest I've ever beat Belom. Mainly due to the 18 and 24 jumps on those super jumps. Bilo must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Er, Mario? Do you hear something? Or is it just me? Water! Here it comes. Quick, Mario, hit the button before we're washed away. Oh no! Hey, 
And brings us to our first mini game. And look, there it is. It's Toad. <clears throat> this is the Modest River course. We're on a crash course on it? Normally I would say no, but I know Sasquatch really wanted to hear some Jar Jar Banks, so go ahead, talk it up, Toad. You'll start off first at the falls. Use the controller pad to move left or right and score coins. Push B to mark a little hot row against the flower. Along the way, there are a few traps. As to what will happen, we'll just keep that a surprise. Now off you go! Alright, so we can collect regular coins and the green frog coins. Those are our, my main goals. And we'll drop here in. Sasquatch said, I loved it. Appreciate that. This is just for you. Alright, nothing eventful happened in this one. So once you go through the... You, you, you don't have to go through the caves, but once you go through the caves, it bounces you out. Is it left or left is where I want to go, because I want that frog coin right there. There's a flower. Do we get that flower on this one? So he passes it. You got the thief trying to take it. You got this dude with the fork. He steals it. The Koopa takes it. Or the parrot Koopa. And he hits him. And bang, we get it. Oh, yeah. We pop out here to the right on the second one. And I don't think we can make it there. Yeah. Is that the end? I think that's the end. Oh, no. We get our options. Left or right, left or right, left or right. Uh, we'll go right on this one. Oh, yeah. We got another flower. Oh, that thief's just getting thwomped. Oh, four times. We pop out here right in the middle. And that's the end of that area. Then, now for the barrel jumping event. Will it some pointers? No. Let's do it. Time you jump and grab coins along the way. Boom, boom. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. Miss it and you'll change course. Bro, it looks like you're ready. So I'll send you on your way. Bye bye. Almost forgot to tell you. Leap over the fish to pop up or you'll lose coins. That's it. Oh. Wasn't that fun? You got 62 coins. Trade the coins you got from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coins for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones and tadpole ponds got more info on them. You got 62 coins, so you'll get one frog coin for your trade-in. 
I'll hold your two extra coins. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. Got a knock knock shell. That's a brand, brand new weapon. We'll go ahead and equip that. That's a fun weapon. So our attack went up 10 points. And his little, uh, the bounce thing right here is just in case if you wanted to go back to the beginning and, and run it again. We're good though. We got, I think, pretty much every frog coin that was available there, and we got the two flower points. Now we're at Tadpole Pond. This is Mallow's home. Hi, can I help you? Mallow, it's you! We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Bellome, right? Yep. You want to know? You want to know about that? See, Mario, the waterways the sea of the world brings news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news. It's fit to hear. Are you really the Super Mario? Hey, everybody! You'll never guess who's here. He's the real thing. But he doesn't look like a, a, anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. They're all looking at me. I gotta show them, right? That's a pretty good one. Frog Fuchsia says, Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had. That was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Welcome! So you are Mario, yes? I am Frogfucius. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. Many, uh, maybe old man, yeah, I'm cool, has some good advice. I hear, uh, old people have some good advice. Oh. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear for rivers. Pay no attention to the, uh, floating thing behind him. Tadpoles, don't just float there. I'll make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Oh. Bad joke time. Here we go. The last NFL-themed bad joke of the evening. What did the quarterback buy at the flooring store? What did the quarterback buy at the flooring store? Ivy Store says, hmm. What do you think, Ivy Store? You got this one? What did the quarterback buy at the flooring store? Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep. He is quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if I only knew, if only you knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there. Look at this tadpole just eavesdropping over here. Ivysaur says, uh, hardwood hard count? All right, that was a good guess, a good guess. Not what we're looking for. Uh, what did the quarterback buy at the flooring store? A throw rug. Woo! So good. Patience, young one. Let me explain, here's what happened. 
you were rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash, and saw a huge sword split the sky. <laughs> Whoosh out of the blue. The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost somewhere out there. Now. You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wrecking havoc, wreaking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle at Mushroom Kingdom. What do you know? Or do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now more than ever, I believe they will pay a vital role in a fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? Nope, heard you loud and clear, bro. It's quite the situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure too. Ah, uh, Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. Tad, tadpole, tadpole? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Mallow, my boy, I've kept this from you until now, but you're not a tadpole. <gasps> Didn't see that coming. Dun -dun. There what? I was sitting here on one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets, when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? Sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. Mallow, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, Mario. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. I'll take him along, yes? Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. And it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose Town, where they need your help. It will be quite around, quiet around with Mallow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. That's right. I had forgotten all about it. I will give something for the cricket pie you brought back. Ah, I know. You shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. Finally, Mallow gets a weapon, not his little fisticuffs. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. All right. Finally, Mallow gets a weapon. And we have totally forgot to equip the wake-up pin for him. Don't matter. I'm going to give him the true form pin. Boom, 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 boom. That's part of Tadpole Pond, and then the, the store is over here. Welcome to the Frog Corn Emporium. Your first time, aren't you? Listen up. Three, the green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them, and you can buy items at Tadpole Pond. We're going to save our frog coins. Welcome to the juice bar. Are you a card member? Even Todovsky has a membership here. Sorry, you're limited to this menu if you don't have a current membership. Froggy drink's pretty good. Everybody 
gets healed, so we'll take one of them. Alright. <clears throat> oh. Let's see. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Todovsky. My favorite song? It's Frog Fuchsius Suite Number 18. <clears throat> Sola Mi Re Do Re Do Re. Todovsky's fond of it too. Sola Mi Re Do Re Do Re. I know it's by jumping on the tadpoles. Yes, I know. Yes. This is Doe. On the second space. Go Ray Me. Go up and go down, get Fossil Latido. I think it was Sola Me. Rado, Rado, Ray. So la me. So la me. Ah, so la me. Ray, me. Do, re, do, re, do, re. If you get notes wrong, they go under underwater and she's not happy. But we got it. And we got the alto card. Till then, adieu. We did it. First try. So that alto card gives us a better membership over here. And we can buy more stuff. Now we can also buy an elixir, which re probably recovers 80 HP. We won't need one of those for a while, but we'll grab it just in case. Go to Rose Way. You can't jump on or off when the block is blue. Try jumping when the block turns yellow. Alright, we'll fight this, uh... Tarantula guy and starfish. All right, so they have the knock knock shell now. We kick the shell up and then we kick it at them. And he has the froggy stick. Just hits him with a little cane. Ooh, that was a big hit.
Oh, wow. Almost did it. Pollen nap. Oh no, he put Mario to sleep. Alright, he's almost asleep. No, he's asleep. And he woke up. Take out these snips. Or they're shy guys, I guess. They run away. Like that. And we're gonna backtrack because uh we missed that that takes us to the end right there. Take care, everybody, right here. Bang. Done. I think, he, I think he gives us something after we beat this guy. Reloads. Oh well. Oh, we missed them. Nice. Mallow with the one shot. It's pretty rare. Guys are dead right here. Congrats us, or gave us congrats for making it through the sewer pretty quickly. I've done that one a uh, bunch of times, so I pretty much knew the path. I just like to go through all of it, so that's why I backtracked a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Wait, do we even need to do that? Yeah. 
right? Yeah. I line this back up now. There we go, got the frog coin. Ivysaur says, I love the melodic percussion in this soundtrack. Like this maramba and the steel drum at Tadpole Pond. Yeah, like, uh, like got that island feel to it. Got the flute going. Check it out. Our second look at Bowser. All right, so he's got five of each of these minions. All right, people, form ranks. Attention, shield warriors, hooded sorcerers. And last but not least, groundling Goombas. Let's be real, they are the least. They're the easiest enemy from Bowser's army in like every single game. They're the least. This is our finest moment. The Koopa Troop is invincible. We shall be victorious. The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out on the double. Bowser and his troops must be on their way to Bowser's keep. Come on, Rose Town is just up ahead. All right, I think we are going to go to Rose Town, do what we need to do. The next area would be um, the woods. We're gonna save the woods for our next stream. Uh, not sure when that's gonna be, so definitely uh, go ahead, check out our Facebook page and follow it so that you hear about when we post when we're gonna do our random streams. And you won't miss anything. This kid's playing with his dolls. He's got a Peach doll or a Toadstool doll in this one. Bar Bowser and Mario. Mwahaha. Hey, Mario. I'll be taking care of Princess Toadstool now. Boing, boing. Super jump attack. Woo. Just got yeeted. Gwaha. You think you can hurt me with your childish pranks? Attention, Toadstool. You're coming with me. Dip your lip. Somebody please help me! Help! Oh my gosh. It's ma ma. Mom! Mom, look, we have a guest! Yes, dear, I hear you. Hello, the. Uh, why aren't you the Mario? For real? Well, you have the hat and the funky stash. Are you really Mario? You betcha. How do I know it's you? You might just be pulling my leg. Show me. Prove it. All right. Hey, Mario. Want to play with me? I'm playing. Save the world. Now, Gaz. Mario might be a little tired, dear. Aw, come on, Mom. You, ne you never play with me. It's no fun playing alone. Oh, dear. Mario. I hate to ask, but could you play with Gaz for a little while? Mario's a man of the people. Yes, Mario. Just bought the farm, so um, you can be Bowser. I'll be Gino, okay? Ready? Let's play from where I left off. All set? Oh, scary. But just watch me. Better watch out, Bowser, because Gino's going to blow you away. Take this. Ooh. Your turn, Bowser. That's child abuse, bro. Watch out, Mario. Ow! Oh no! If he keeps this up, I'm finished. 
All right, you asked for it. The super duper custom patented one and only shooting star shot. Oops, I uh, I think I missed. Oh dear. Oh my, Mario, are you are you all right? Mm. Mario got jacked up. What's this? What is this? Kids like, I wish my dolls were real. Be careful what you wish for. It just might come true. bearings oh hits the wall hits the stairs shake it off we're good all right he's good all right mario is back to health We got an extra follow out there. Appreciate it. I think it's Ivysaur. Thank you, Ivysaur. Appreciate the follow. All right. So we just witnessed the little kid. Mom, you'll never believe what I just saw. It was amazing, Mom. I just saw Gino walk into the forest. Neat, huh? Yes, dear. That's nice, dear. And isn't Gino the one who broke my lamp the other day? Oh, Ma, that was just... Well, you know, th no, this was real. I swear, Mom. Really, it's true. I saw him outside. All right, Gas. Let's hear it. What are you trying to get out this time? Mom, I didn't do anything. I really, truly saw Gino walking into the forest. Interesting. Found a secret. And we can't get up that one. Mario, good to have a customer last. What do you need? Uh, we got four mushrooms. Ah, uh, we're good. Hey Mario, it's nice to drop by. What can I do for you? All right, we will take a thick shirt, thick pants, and sure, by now we'll take a fearless pin. Uh, we can sell the hammer. Uh, we will equip the so the shirt. Our defense goes from 20 to 26, and magic defense goes up two. And the pants, defense goes up six, and magic defense goes up three. And then we'll go ahead and sell the shirt and the pants. Keep the other stuff. We got 333 coins left. And let's see. We'll equip the... Uh, Yeah, we'll equip the Fearless Pin on Mallow, and we'll keep the Jump Shoes for Mario so that he keeps his, uh... Special Attack up. So that chest that we couldn't get to, you actually jump up here and treat this chimney like a pipe. And boom, you get it. Mm -hmm. 
So just like the first town, uh, this town also is gloomy and there's, it's being attacked. Take both of those. Oh, we gotta hit the, the button so his dad can come back up. Thanks a million, Mario. Say, are my treasures okay? Uh, yeah, 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 they're fine. Oh, that's great news. Whatever, leave. What? They're gone, Mario. You're the only one that can reach them. Sorry, got carried away. Oh well. Since we didn't get hit by any arrows, I'll tell you a secret. End of the forest. When you hit an area with four paths, go left, left, straight, right, in that order. We'll go ahead and write that down. Left, left, straight, right. I'll remember that. And we can't go back there yet. All right, so that's everything in this town. So we're gonna go ahead, save it. What's our uh, our health? Everything is. I mean, we could use three more flowers. Ah, we're fine. Do we have any items that we need to use? Uh, nope. We are good. Where do we... Where was... Are we going here yet? No. I don't think there was... There's gotta be a... Oh, that's right. It was upstairs here. Alright. We'll save it there. Um, we're actually, we're running this at a decent pace. It's, it's much faster than I normally run through this game. Normally, I'm grinding a little bit to try to level up. At this point, I would probably be like level 9 or 10. Um, but I figured we don't really need to grind that much. It's more of just get through the game. If we get to a point where we get defeated, maybe we'll do a little bit of grinding. But I'd like to just kind of you know, mainly plow through and maybe just beat a couple enemies along the way. Avoid most. Uh, so that way we're not caught up with too much battle scenarios. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing part one of Super Mario RPG. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's probably my number three Super Nintendo game. Uh, I'm trying to think if I had to guess on how many streams we would need, random, random streams we would need to finish this game up. And I'm going to guess... It's probably going to be about one star per stream. So if we, I mean, if we guess that pace, we're looking at maybe six, maybe seven more streams, give or take. So uh, make sure to follow the Facebook page so that you get notified whenever we post about when we're going live, especially uh, not just because if you follow our, our Twitch, then you'll see our schedule and you'll get notified when we when we go live for our Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Those are our um, normal ones. We have Terraria Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on Tuesdays. And on Thursdays, uh, we have Unsighted. We're wrapping that one up probably this Thursday. We're going to be looking to pick up a new game probably next week. But um, sometimes we go outside of that schedule and we'll play uh, on a Sunday night or a Saturday, Sunday morning or just whenever we feel like it. And then when we do random games, uh, we don't do those two. We just we just do whatever we feel like it. I usually play Super Nintendo. So when I jump on random streams, if it's just solo me, I'll be running this for the next couple streams. Amanda usually runs Sims 4. And if we're together, we usually run Sonic Frontiers. Uh, Sonic Frontiers, we've definitely got a lot to go in that one. So that one's going to be a random stream going on for a while. Terraria Tuesdays probably going on for a little while. And Unsighted wrapping up real, real soon. So check out our posts on Facebook. You, you might see a poll coming up soon. 
if we are asking the community what they want to see on Thursdays, or we might just choose a game from a previous poll and let you guys know. Either way, check us out on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube. We got a whole slew of videos on up there. Anything from Super Metroid, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina, or uh, Link to the Past. Well, I'll throw this up there. Amanda has Sims, Sonic Frontiers, Terraria, Nine Parchments, and Unsighted. So, can't wait to see you guys again on Thursday. Until then, stay bad, folks, out there. Show's over, folks. Go home. Peace.